What is going on guys? Welcome back to reconvert. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about Facebook business manager. So in your Facebook business manager, you have your ads account and that's where you start up your whole marketing campaign. So I'm about to start up my marketing campaign and I need to be prepared. So I need to set up my Facebook ads account. I need to set up my Facebook page. I need to set up my Facebook pixel and then connect it to my Shopify store. And I want to be showing you how I do all of that right now in this video. Let's dive into it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is create our Facebook page. Here's how we do it. So you're going to go into your business settings on your business account and you're going to go to pages. From here, you're going to go to add and then scroll down and hit create a new page. Now we're going to choose brand or product. Type in the page name. It's going to be STOP for me. And then you're going to choose your category. So mine, I'm going to scroll down and hit home decor. That's my category. And that's all you have to do to create the page. The page is now created. Now we need to edit the page a little bit. So we're going to go to the page view page. I'm not going to put in my WhatsApp info right now. And we're going to go to username. I'm going to type in my username STOP as well. Make sure it's not misspelled because autocorrect seems to be misspelling STOP every single time almost. So we're going to create our username just like that. Hit done. We can scroll down a little bit more. There's a lot of things you can edit over here. I'm going to enter my website STOP.com again. See autocorrect. And that is all. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Next up, I'm going to add in a profile picture using my logo. So all we're going to do is hit that little camera button, click edit profile picture, upload a new photo, click on the image that you have, wherever you saved it, upload it, make sure the sizing is right and just hit save. That's all you have to do. Page is now ready. Next up, we're going to do our ads manager. So you're going to go to your home page. It should be on the left side. You just click ads manager. And this is your ads manager dashboard. And now we're going to create our ad account. So in order to do this, you're going to go to your business settings. And instead of hitting pages right under it is ad accounts. So you're going to go to ad accounts. You're going to press add, create a new ad account. We're going to put our ad account name. I'm going to do STOP again for mine. Make sure your time zone and currency is set up correctly. And we're going to join it with our business. That's my business manager, which you're going to have to create separately. You can only have two at a time. So I couldn't create one for this video, but you just go on create Facebook business manager and you just create your first business manager account. This is how you create your ad account. And we're going to hit create. Now we're going to click on our name and give ourselves full control to manage the whole ad account. You can go back add the payment info later. And this is the dashboard for your ad account right here, your ads manager. On the top, you're going to see the campaigns. You're going to click on your ad account that you just created because you could have a couple. And this is where the magic happens. So now that all that's done, let's set up our Facebook pixel. Facebook pixel is so important because we can track everything that happens on our website using this pixel. So say we send someone to our website and they take an action of viewing content on our page and adding something to our cart. So we know that this person is a warm lead and we can retarget them, say with a different offer because they already added something to the cart. We can, we can target them with a little bit of a different offer and make them purchase from us. So I'm going to show you how to add that pixel in right now. So first we're going to go to our ad account and on the left side, you're going to go to all tools and events manager. Now from here, you're going to go to connect data sources web and connect name the pixel again i'm going to call it stop and you just hit create pixel now you're going to type in the website url okay now i'm going to go head over to shopify and under online store preferences you scroll down and you click set up facebook now it's going to have you add this app facebook and instagram and you're going to log in and then you're going to give all of your Facebook information to Shopify. So here we're going to add the sales channels first and we're going to hit start setup at the bottom. So as I said, you're going to connect your first, your Facebook account. I'm going to do that right here. Confirm account, allow. We're going to give Facebook access to our, we're going to give Shopify access to our Facebook account. Now I'm going to click on the business account that I'm using. And here I'm going to pick the pixel. It was STOP. Submit this for review. It's going to load up, it takes about a minute. And we're going to head back in the meantime to Facebook and we're going to finish up our pixel setup. So continue pixel setup. 
I'm going to click get guidance here. We don't actually need it because I'm going to skip through all these questions. All right, now hit get started. Shopify next. Complete the setup on Shopify. And now we'll just enter the URL for the website. So we're going to put in our website, autocorrect again, stop.com. Send the test traffic. It sent it. Now we're going to go back to events manager and should be good. There we go. Active. Your pixel is working properly and that's it. That's all you have to do. Our pixel is now set up. I would test different events by say adding to cart, initiating a checkout, doing a mock purchase to trigger all of the different events in our pixel so that Facebook knows what to look for when you're targeting people for say a purchase campaign. So that is how you set up your Facebook ads account, pixel and page. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and share so that I get to keep my job. You're fired! And you get to keep getting this valuable information. Make sure to stay posted for my next video where I dive deep into my first marketing campaign and show you guys exactly how I make my visuals, how I get my copies using ChatGPT, and everything else related to my first Facebook ads. Stay posted for more and make sure to check out these other videos of how I got to this point how I did some of my product research methods, and I will be back with more very soon.